We all know West Belconnen is a fantastic community and part of that is because we look out for each other. Not everyone here has it easy, but a strong community like ours can come together and make sure that people have the support that they need when they need it. Right now, we have the chance to lead something completely new in Canberra. We're bringing together local services around the specific needs of people who live in West Belconnen. We've got community, business and government leaders all working together and we'd love you to get involved too. Maybe your business can train some young people. Perhaps you have some time to volunteer. Maybe your community group is looking to grow. Or maybe you just want to get more active in what's happening in the area. Whatever your interest, it's a great opportunity. So please get in touch. I think the critical thing about the network here in West Belconnen is that it's about designing a process that allows people to get a better outcome when they choose to use services. So really it's about the services doing their own jobs better and the way that we work with each other is what we're focused on the most. I think being person-centred is a really key part of um, being a responsible member of this network, that it's not about any one organisation, that it's about all of us working together, bringing our own strengths to the table and using what we have to be part of a bigger picture. For me this project was an opportunity to change what we were doing and move forward, not just sit on our, our haunches so to speak and go, well this is what we've always done and it's worked pretty well. Uh, it was an opportunity to go, well let's have an honest look at what we're doing and how do we move forward, how do we best meet the needs of the people and the changing community in West Belconnen. So I'm really excited about being a network partner because to me it means being part of a group of of organisations and a group of people, a team of people, that are all working towards the same patient outcomes um, or people outcomes, the people who live in our community. So getting together, identifying the gaps, making sure that we're not duplicating services but we're meeting the needs of people who, who live in this space with us. For us it's about making sure that we've got that information out there for people. And on the flip side of that, if people want to get involved and volunteer, if they want to help in their local area, they need to know what opportunities are available. So it's about us creating those opportunities for the local residents in West Belconnen through access to information or access to volunteer so that they can be part of the solution as well. The practical components of the network partnership start with building relationships and engaging with others at network gatherings. These provide an opportunity to develop shared policies and practices. It's really important that those, those people already acting in the space then play a bigger part in terms of the plan to say that this is our area, this is our people we need to be looking after and we need to provide services in a better way, more cohesive. We have community sector, we have government, um, stakeholders, local businesses, local sporting groups, residents. I think um, everyone brings different knowledge, different skill set, and if we support each other, we can bring the best out of all of those areas. Sharing resources and reducing duplication helps to improve outcomes for the people of West Belconnen. It's a better way to deliver services. We're very excited to have a role from the beginning in creating services that are more responsive to community needs and working in, in a collaborative way. Belconnen Community Service I think prides itself on its relationships with other service providers and with local residents. Um, so this is a real opportunity to put that into action and to do something creative and new.